In this lesson, we're going to tackle a slightly more complex part, as seen on the screen. In this case, we will need to establish sketch planes, and we will add features, including hole wizard holes. Let's get started from scratch. Make a new part using your infinite skills template and open a sketch on the top plane. To do this, just click on the plane and click on the sketch icon. We want to start this part with the circular boss. And so draw a circle centered at the origin so the rest of the part can reference this and be locked to a single reference. Make the sketch 2.5 inches in diameter and extrude going three inches in one direction and in direction two, go one inch. Open another sketch on the top plane. If your SolidWorks does not rotate automatically to the sketch plane as mine just did, then you can change the setting to do that. You find that in the tools, options, sketch, Auto rotate view normal to sketch plane on sketch creation. So every time you open a new sketch, SolidWorks will rotate the view. Zoom out slightly and let's start sketching. Remember, you can use the click click or click drag method. And here I've transitioned to an arc just by returning the cursor to the start point and dragging out the arc again. Picking up automatic relations where I can. Okay, now this sketch goes most of the way around, but we want to use the edge of the circular boss. So I'm going to click on the edge and use the convert entities icon. But now we have this extra bit of sketch to the inside, so I'll use the trim and just drag the cursor over the part I want to get rid of. Don't forget to turn off the trim command. And now I need to establish relationships within this sketch. This line, I want to be vertical. This one, I want to be horizontal. And this one should be horizontal as well. It already is. Sometimes with arcs, it's best to establish the diameter or radius value for your arc before you try to change other aspects of it. We want a 45 degree angle here. 45 degree angle here. And between these two lines, 15 degrees between this line and this line. I want 1.75 and then make the line coincident with the center of the circle. I like to change this value from 1.75. Let's just use the spin arrows to adjust it. Because the other line is locked to the center of the circle, it's the upper line that moves this time. This line is blue. It should be black. So let's drag it to see what's not defined about it. And so it's going to need to be tangent to the circle. We need a length for that as well. 1.5. And drag this and apply a distance from the main boss to this circle out here. Make that 8 inches and do that in both directions. And from here, let's extrude half inch. Now we want to create another boss on this side of the part. And the way to best do this is to sketch directly on this face. So let's click on the face and select the sketch icon. Remember, edit sketch will get you something different. 
edit sketch will edit the sketch of the existing solid, but the sketch icon will start a new sketch. Let's sketch in this boss, line at an angle, a tangent arc, and then a tangent line, and a horizontal line. Now we want this line centered on this edge, so there's several ways to do that. I can right click on the line, say select midpoint, control select on this edge, and give that a midpoint relationship. That way this line is locked down, and all we need to do is put in some dimensions. The height of the center of the circle above the surface will be two inches. This radius will be one inch. And the angle here will be 25 degrees. Now notice that this is still not fully defined. And if we drag some of the blue geometry, we get results that we don't really want or expect. So in order to lock this down, there are several ways. Again, this could be done, but I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to use a construction line to go from the center of the circle to the midpoint of this edge and then assign a vertical relationship. Hit escape to cancel out of the tools, rotate the view around so I can see it somewhat, and extrude half inch, it's going the wrong direction, so I'll make it go into the part and say okay. Now I want to create a circular boss that goes on the top of this. Use the circle to pick up the edge. It allows me to grab the center and then drag the cursor over to the vertex. And that will automatically pick up a coincident relationship. When I hit escape, notice this turns black, all due to automatic relations. None were applied manually. Let's extrude this. And again, get a view. Half inch in one direction. And in direction two, let's make it go two inches. We will continue this project in the next movie.